Hello, it's Liz here with Stampin' on the Rock. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a card idea. What a surprise, right? Um, but I'm going to be using a stamp set that y'all don't really see a whole lot of. Um, this is in the annual catalog, and it's called Hope and Prayer. I don't see a lot of samples out there with it, but I love the sayings with it. So I just thought, you know what? Instead of just giving you 50 million um, videos and tutorials that you can find of the exact same stamp sets, let's try something different. Um, so I do enjoy these sets, these sayings that are on here. So this is what I'm going to create with you today, use to create with you today. So Hope and Prayer in the annual catalog. Um, I will be using gorgeous grape and pretty peacock ink pads and then I will be using let's see perennial lavender designer series paper and this is in the annual catalog also look how pretty this is I know there's lots of um, new online exclusive things that just came out today depending on when you're watching this video um, but don't forget there are beautiful products in the annual catalog also okay so that one is called Perennial Lavender. All right. I've said this once before, but I'm going to say it again. Alphabet stamp sets are fantastic to have on hand. Many times when products retire, I will sell them off to customers or um, I've had them in a booth and I sell them that way. I I'm going to, I don't want to say never. I very, very, very rarely will sell off an alphabet stamp set because I think they're fantastic. So this one is current in the catalog, but I do have other stamp sets, other, sorry, other alphabet dies that are not current, but I do use them and I keep them in my stash. So if you see an alphabet set somewhere, I would just grab it. If it's in the annual catalog, mini catalog, whatever they come out, um, get yourself a an alphabet set and it is helpful to have multiples because some of them are bigger some are smaller some are fatter so they're different um, fonts and sizes which is just nice to have different ones on hand the nice thing about this one this one first off is called alphabet a la mode and what's nice about this set of dies is there are letters and numbers there's not lowercase letters, so it's all capital letters, but there are numbers here also. I try to keep them on the little sticky strip that's here so I can find my letters quicker, but obviously they have, some of them have fallen off. But, all right, so I'm going to be using those, the Alphabet Alamo dies for this card. Let's set that aside. My papers I'll be using today is I have white, is my card base. And then I have another piece of white that is three and a half by four and three fourths. And then this piece here is from the paper pack that I told you about, the perennial lavender. And that one is four by five and a quarter. On the other side has these flowers and butterflies. But we're using this side here and it's four by five and a quarter. Okay, so I'm gonna take this one off and let's attach what we can for now. I've already folded this in half and scored that a little bit. Flip that over. And I'm going to use the liquid glue here. And we'll set that aside. And then this is going to just get attached to the front of the white card base. So the nice thing with the liquid glue is there's a little wiggle room till you get it to where you want it to be you can kind of slide it into place and then press it down and let that dry and it dries pretty quickly okay we're going to set that aside for now all right let's pull in this piece here this white and i'm going to stamp along the bottom here i'm using the words um, under his wings you will find refuge and I'm going to stamp that in the gorgeous grape. We've got that upside down here. And let's put that right in the center. There we go. And that's all I need of that one. And then I'm going to pull in the pretty peacock. And I want it to be light, so I'm going to actually, let me take this piece here. I'm going to ink this up, and then I'm just going to lightly stamp off on my scratch paper. 
and then put this little dove right in there. Okay. While I have this out, I'm going to use uh, my blending brush, but I want really, really light. So I'm going to put some ink on here, I'm brushing off some excess, and then I want this to be really light, and I'm just brushing around the edges, but super, super light. Hopefully you can see that in the camera. Just to give it a little softer edge rather than just being that stark white. And there we go. Okay, can you see, I don't know if you see that on the white there, how it's a little bit of a, that pretty peacock color on the edges. All right, so we're done with the ink. We'll set that aside. Okay, now I'm pulling in the letters that spell out peace. Because I find I have find peace when I remember that under his wings I will find refuge. So I'm going to put the letters peace on here. Now normally what we would do is we would cut out the letters and we would use the letters. We're going to do the opposite this time. So I'm putting these letters right on top here. And we're going to get them as even as we can. If it's not exactly even, it's okay. So I'll get that where I want it. If it's easier for you, you can place it on your cut and emboss machine first and then put the pieces on here. Remember, I've told you before too, you can take a post-it note and lay the post-it note on top to keep all the pieces, um, the dies staying where you want them to be, or you can grab some washi tape that will work also. I'm gonna just do the best I can and if they wiggle a little bit, I'm not going to stress about it. Let's see how this goes. I might have to readjust when I get. Okay, I'm putting this on my cut and emboss machine. Probably would be helpful if I took off the top layer. All right, I'm going to have to readjust once I get on here, but I'm putting this right in my cut and emboss machine. I'm just adjusting my the letters here. All right. I think we're good. Probably not exact, but it's okay. All right, I'm going to lay my top piece on over top, and then I'm just going to crank that through. There we go. All right, did you hear that? All the letters went all over the place. All right, I'm going to pull this back in. And what you want to be careful about here is the little middle sections, the like the A in the middle of the P, I want to hang on to those. So when you're pulling this apart, just make sure that you keep the center E, I mean the center P here, and then the center of this A. And I'm not going to use these letters here that I actually cut out, but you could make another card and use those letters for that. All right, so let's put those aside. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to flip this over and we're going to put some adhesive on the back here. Let's go down here first. So do you have a favorite set of alphabet dies? Share that with me down below because I'm kind of curious which ones you have and which ones you use most often. All right. Okay. So let's take that, we're gonna put this down on here now. So we're using the negative, we're not using the pieces we cut out, but you can use those for a different card. Let's set that here. I'm gonna set that down. Okay, now do you see if you didn't save the middle of the A and the middle of the P of that big space there, which I mean, I guess that's okay, you could leave it like that, but we're gonna put them back in now, this is going to be a little tricky because I am using the liquid glue, but they are tiny. The P, not so bad, but the A, but that's okay. We're going to use the liquid glue and just put a tiny little bit in there. You don't need a ton. And we'll set that right in here. And again, because it's the liquid glue, there's a little wiggle room. Get it to where you want it to be. Once you have it where you want it, 
then you can press down there you go okay now here's the a this one's tiny tiny but we can do it all right i'm just going to put a tiny little bit of glue right in that center there we go okay got just a little bit of a dot out there and so i only did like on that fat part there so i'm going to take this and we're going to lay this down in here okay and there we go there we have it all right so we have that there and then we're going to add some little bit of some embellishments so I do have here, these are the Purple Fine Shimmer Gems, and these are in the mini catalog. Okay, so let's grab those. Let me grab my little scissors. Put a little sparkle on here. Oh, I'm just randomly putting them here. Let's, let's see. Um, maybe in here. Let's grab a few more more sparkle the better right I don't know let's put that over here we can put one maybe up here and let's do let's do one last one I'm putting a whole bunch on here there we go okay so there we go this is our card piece under his wings you will find refuge so I hope you enjoyed that and this is just a challenge to you to go through that catalog or go through your stamp sets that you have and uh, check out a stamp set that maybe um, isn't one of the most popular necessarily but one that you have in your stamp set and in your collection you bought for a reason um, or look through the catalog and just find one that you really enjoy. It doesn't necessarily have to be the most popular one in there but find one that you like and that touches you for whatever reason and um, I challenge you to create with that. So this is my card for today and I hope you enjoy. Grab yourself an alphabet stamp set, if, or uh, not a stamp set, alphabet dies. Stamp set works too, but alphabet dies um, and start creating with those because those are fun because you can personalize them how you would like. So that's it for tonight. Have a great day. Have a great, sorry, rest of the week. All right, talk with you later. Bye-bye.